Welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. King of glory, Lord of power and might, cleanse our hearts from all sin, preserve the innocence of our hands, and keep our minds from vanity, so that we may deserve your blessing in your holy place. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy, Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your mind. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, Bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its bows. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. 
give us life, that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord God, Eternal Shepherd, you so tend the vineyard you planted that now it extends its branches even to the farthest coast. Look down on your church and come to us. Help us to remain in your Son as branches on the vine, that planted firmly in your love, we may testify before the whole world to your great power working everywhere. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord. Though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Bring out your joy to God our strength. Bring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the loan. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O oh, Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord God, open our mouths to proclaim your glory. Help us to leave sin behind and to rejoice in professing your name. Bring out your joy to God our strength. Every one of us will have to give an account of himself before God. Therefore, we must no longer pass judgment on one another. Instead, you should resolve to put no stumbling block or hindrance in your brother's way. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, 
but of justice, peace, and the joy that is given by the Holy Spirit. Whoever serves Christ in this way pleases God and wins the esteem of men. Let us, then, make it our aim to work for peace and to strengthen one another. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be God, our Father, who protects his children and never spurns their prayers. Let us humbly implore him. Enlighten us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for enlightening us through your Son. Fill us with his light throughout the day. Let your wisdom lead us today, Lord that we may walk in the newness of life. May we bear hardships with courage for your name's sake and be generous in serving you. Direct our thoughts, feelings, and actions this day. Help us to follow your providential guidance. Enlighten us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, true light and source of all light, listen to our morning prayer. Turn our thoughts to what is holy, and may we ever live in the light of your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Thursday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitence. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>